Hey everybody, what's going on? Today, I'm going to be showing y'all how I made my uh, Wookie bust. This right here. Uh, all it is, is a piece of pipe from Lowe's and two of these little flange. Screw this thing off here. Two of these, pipe, and then a t-shirt mannequin. I think this was $24 on Amazon at the back's hollow. Uh, they're real cheap. So what we're going to do is turning this into a bust, a Wookiee bust. Pretty easy. I've been wanting to do this for a while, show y'all how I did it, but I just haven't had a whole lot of time. So let's get to it. All right. All right. So the first thing that we need to do is I want to see how I want to see how big this is. So I'm just going to measure from the top of the shoulder here to where I stopped. Uh, 11 and a half. Yep, 11 and a half. So we'll just transfer that over to the new one. Let me get over here. Ugh. Doesn't have to be perfect either, because uh, as you can tell, the bottom of it's got to have hair hanging down off of it anyway. So, yeah, so there, I got two dots right there under the nipples. So now I'm just going to use the same thing, this right here, and that's make me a kind of a guide for when I cut it. See how I did that? I just clamped one side. I'm holding the other side with my hand and then the dots are right right there and right there. So now I'm just gonna make me a line across using this as a kind of a straight edge. All over me. Alrighty. Alright. Put that over there. Alright, so how I'm going to cut this, I'm going to use a... I'm going to use... Let me just get this up. I'm just using like a, dang, I lost the track of thought here. It's just a cut off multi-tool from 
Harbor Freight. Super cheap. I've used the crap out of this thing. Actually, this blade is like, <laughs> God, this thing is gone. I think it'll still cut through this though. And don't, whenever you cut this, make sure you save this bottom part because we're going to use, we're going to use this part with this hole and part of this right here for the back. See if I can turn this around. So on the back of this, I cut that part off and I use it to keep the bottom from coming back and forth. Like, so it keeps it straight up and down and not uh, it doesn't smash in and come out so we'll use that we're going to use this whole thing pretty much Just parts of it all right so let's cut this thing freaking static stop a second let my dog out for a second because he does not like he does not like the sound of that say hi silver look look boy yeah I'm good baby okay I'm gonna let him out because I think it's hurting his ears all right I got him out of here I don't want to hurt his ears so Okay, so after you do that, I just take like a razor blade or something. <clears throat> I get one here. Yeah, I'll just take a razor blade and just kind of clean the edges up a little bit. Just so it's not a little sharp. Because the plastic leaves like little, when it melts, it kind of bundles up. Kind of rough. Just slice it off with a razor blade. Inside. All right. Yeah. So now we got now we got the top part ready to go. Well, pretty much ready to go. Uh, this hole we need to make it the same size as this as this uh, pole. So what I did on the last one is I used a. I just I don't have a regular bit that's that big believe it or not I mean that's like an inch I believe and so I think I used a Forstner's bit so let me get that and then we'll come back and drill those holes um, we also need to drill it actually 
drill it on this one too. So I'll go ahead and do this one while, I, while it's all together. just about the right size sorry if you can't see that actually I think I can make that one work because it's just about just about right <clears throat> okay so how I got it to fit on the on the pipe like really tight is I heated it up <clears throat> So let me get my other pipe here. Actually, I'm just going to use this one right here and just take this off because uh, it's the same exact. I mean, I'm doing the same thing. So I just I'm gonna heat this up with a <clears throat> with a lighter. And I will give you a little word of advice. Heat it up at an angle so that your fingers are not under directly underneath it. Because uh last time I did it, uh some of the little pieces of plastic melted off right onto the side of my finger and it hurt like hell. Yeah, so I'm just heating that little hole up. Freaking hair all over me. Just want to get it soft. Alright, I think that's good. So now I'm just going to stick it through there. <laughs> oh, that hole's not big enough. I'll have to widen that in a minute. We'll do the other one. Yeah. Freaking hair. All right. You gotta hold it there for a little while. You want the plastic to kinda get flimsy. Flip it over and do this. I think we are just about ready there. So now I'm just going to take this and stick it up through there. So 
So now it's going to be real tight on there. That's why I wanted to heat it up and do it a little bit, the hole a little bit smaller. So, I, so it doesn't have a lot of movement. <clears throat> and then whenever this cools down, I'll just take a razor blade and cut that little, the melted plastic part off. It's not that big of a deal. Nobody's ever going to see it, but still. So now, this is what I was talking about, that other piece. See how this, you know, can just shake around. So we need some support. We need su support on the bottom. So... What I'm going to do is, same thing I did on this one, I'm going to cut that little piece off of the bottom part that we cut off and mount it right there. <clears throat> Alright, let me drill out this other one. We got that one drilled out. Now we need to cut this part out. Uh, I'm just gonna freehand this one. This one's not, there's no measurement for this. I just making a kind of a straight line here across. So on the side, I'll show you when I get it done. If you want to bring it up a little bit, because this is where what we're going to fasten it to the other piece using. All right, so my line extends down off the bottom a little bit. It's going to come up here, around, and down here. So this is going to be mounted underneath. Let's see if I can show you on this other one. Yeah, so there's a hole. It comes up, and then it goes into like an L right here. That's We're going to pop rivet it to the bottom of this other one. That makes sense. So let's cut this off.
same thing we did with the other piece. Just clean off the all the little junk off of the edges. Melted plastic and whatever else. I got a file right here. I'm going to use that. Let me just knock it off. Silver in my dog. Hold on just a sec. Come on, boy. All right, sit down. Sit down. <laughs> you hot? Lay down. Lay down. All right. That's good. Now we got to heat this up. Bend it over this pipe. Nice and melted. Well, I thought it was melted. <clears throat> we can get a little bit more. There we go. Just slid right over top of that. That's good. Now we just need to mount this and mount this to the top part. And that's pretty easy. I mean, it's just get this off. So now I just need to drill some holes or mark some holes. Mm. 
After you drill these holes, you'll want to take a razor blade because it's going to leave, just like it does when you cut it, it leaves it kind of raised because it's plastic and it's melting. So just slice that off. Slice that off so it's even and that everything sits flush. <clears throat> this part is like, I mean it's all pretty easy, but this part's just kind of, there's not really a whole lot of measuring or anything. Just kind of putting pieces of plastic to get together. All right, got my holes for that. So now I need to <coughs> get this baby mounted. I'm just going to hold it here. And start drilling. Just to make marks. Alright. It's hard to show you all this because it's I have to hold it, it's not very, it's real flexible. And I def definitely don't want to drill my hand, so. <laughs> I'm being... done that actually I was uh, screwing some wood screws three inch wood screws into a piece of wood two by four and I was you're not you shouldn't go towards yourself like that it's going towards myself and I that's the Phillips bit went directly into my kneecap and then you know I didn't think anything of it at the time and then like I don't know a week later it was still sore and I was like what is going on it was getting infected and uh, it was it opened up a little bit and I pulled some jeans some denim out of the inside of my kneecap yeah that was great all right I'm just cleaning I'm just cleaning these the melted holes and stuff up a little bit because I'm gonna I'm about to attach these. Sorry, Silver. <clears> hey. <throat> okay. Use your clippers for this. Where was that? Right there. Some dikes.
All right. Got those holes done. Let me get my rivet. Rivet gun. This is just a cheap old rivet gun. Nothing special. Just a cheapo. size of rivets these are but you can kind of figure it out as you go there we go just stuck it in there popped off. Well, I gotta cut that one off first. That sucks. Maybe those rivets aren't long enough. I think they are. I, just, I don't think I'm holding it down flat. Give me a sec. I'm gonna pop this rivet out of here. There we go. All right, let's make sure that I flush this time. Definitely in there far enough. Hey, back up, dude. Get back out of my face. Back up. Hey, go lay down. You're right in the middle of me, doing something. Dang, his breath is horrible. Gosh. I guess that hole was not...
this mixed up or what? But these damn things are not sticking in there. It's it's like it's they're not uh, long enough. I'm gonna have to do something about that. Might put just a. <clears throat> I've got some. I think I've got some longer ones actually. Silver, hush. Nope, those are not longer. I can just use uh, some Chicago screws. I got a ton of those. <clears throat> Tons of those. Fat enough. All right, y'all hold on. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna find something. All right, I'm ending up just using some just some little fat screws that I've got. <clears throat> These will work just fine. That was in the wrong spot, I think. That's the wrong. I need a little fat ones. <clears throat> there they are. It actually holds them holds it pretty tight, which is nice. Ah.
All right. Yeah, so now we got some support to keep it from flopping back and forth. So we'll try it out here. Awesome. So now we got that part almost ready to go. What you gotta do now is prime it. Cause this plastic, I made the mistake of not priming it the first time I did this and it doesn't, the silicone does not like to stick to this plastic right here. No matter what silicone you use, it, it'll, it doesn't like it. <laughs> so let's do, yeah, so we'll just come back in a second. I'll take this outside, hit it with some primer, and then we'll just let it sit. Come back and do the gluing of the hair tomorrow. All right, be right back. All right, we're outside now. I've got my, I'm just, I like using this darker primer, this automotive primer. This stuff works pretty good. That's what I used last time. So. crap off of it. All right. it a couple of times pretty thick and it should be good to go now uh, we'll let it dry and then come back and start with the hair process all right hey everybody so I'm back I let this dry Chewy's uh, man boobs are nice and dry now everything's dry um, so now what we're gonna do is glue the hair on so let me get you close here. If you haven't glued the hair, I just cut some, uh, they're about eight, eight or nine inches. I just take a, a braid and then cut it in thirds. Uh, actually not thirds, gosh. Yeah, I'll cut it in thirds and then I'll, uh, then I'll cut those in half, those sections. Cause cut it into 16 inch pieces, three, three 16 inch pieces and then then I'll fold them in half and then cut them because the 16 inch pieces is what I use for the cow. So, uh, in order to, so that I don't have a whole bunch of just eight inch pieces sitting around the shop, I do it in 16 inches and then I cut them in half as I need them. But I've got this right here. Hopefully that makes sense. And uh, all we're going to do is glue the hair on. So, I mean, it's real. The only place that you don't glue the hair on and you glue the brown hair on is just right in the middle. Just a strip right on the inside of his, uh, whatever you call this, sternum. So maybe uh, about this far apart. It's kind of just however you want to do it really. I mean, if you're making a different kind of wookie, you can do it, do it differently. But right here we're gonna do uh, chewy so all I'm gonna do is put the hair where I want it I want the hair right here so I'm gonna do a strip of caulking 
Gosh, got off a little bit there. Caulking right there. Put that down. So you just take take some hair. Uh, I usually get about I don't know this much. And let me get my scissors. Flatten it out in my hand here. Take my scissors. Man, I got some something on my scissors. Glue or something. Clean those off. And then I'll I'll just start on the end here. Let's see if I can get you up closer. Lay it on there and smash it in. There's one little piece. I'll clean this crap off of here. Scissors have got junk all over them. I think it's hot glue. Alright, that's better. Alright, grab another little bundle of hair. Cut it. Like that. And then take it. Try to get you close as I can. That's that's as close as I'm gonna be able to get you. Just set the hair on top of there and smash it in. Set it on there, smash it in. You're gonna get hair all over yourself too, don't worry. Like if you smash it and then the hair goes up on here, up higher, it's okay. It's not gonna hurt it. It's gonna all be covered up with hair anyways. All right. So then when you go to your next row, you do the same thing. You just start right where your hair ended. It's usually maybe a little bit above. It's usually where I start. And then I'll do another bead of caulking. So I've got my hair. Got my next little row there, and I'm just gonna smash it in and push it up. And then it's just gonna lay on top of each other. Let's do another one. I usually do quite a bit of hair, honestly. I mean, that's quite a bit of hair. You don't want to get too much to where you can't get the caulking to go through the hair because you want all the hairs to to have the glue to be glued. Like you want all of them to be on there and you don't want hairs just coming out. If you don't have enough glue or if you have too much hair, it'll do that. section there where the glue is okay so that's how you do that's how you do the hair I'm gonna keep doing this until I get to the end and then I'll uh, I'll show you whenever I get all I'm gonna do is glue the hair 
keep going in rows and rows just like that all the way it looks like he has a hairy armpit right now all the way until I get to about right here because the, the the head's gonna cover a lot of this anyways so as long as you have it up to like right right here on the shoulder right here and around here you should be good I, I usually just do them all the way up to like right here just because it I don't know because I'm crazy I like doing more than I need to but I'm gonna keep doing that and we'll come back and I'll show you what we're gonna do is uh, we'll make a little I'll make a little bando and then give you the pieces all I'm gonna do is take a drill drill a hole right there and right here and then attach a bando it's real easy but yeah I'm gonna glue this hair come back we'll make the bando what is up everybody so we're back now and we are at the point now where we've got all the hair glued on as you can see I just glued up to up to the neck because the helmet or not the helmet the mask is gonna cover a ton of this really you could probably go up to like right here and be perfectly fine um, but what we're gonna do now is work on the the bandolier section this is just if you're doing a chewy if you're doing a chewy I mean you kind of want it to look like chewy so why not put the bandolier on there <clears throat> so all I did is I went to thingiverse and downloaded the the uh, bandolier boxes off of there and then I printed them up on my 3d printer and when I sanded them I kind of rounded the edges off a little bit just so they're not pointy so that's those you need two big ones and two little ones I must I also will tell you that on the on the smaller ones if you can see uh, there's gonna be like a it's gonna be just like the big ones where it has like this little step or not really a step but it's kind of like a little border around the bottom I kind of sanded those down a little bit and puttied them just because on the on his boxes that doesn't have that groove so I just kind of made it a little more accurate I guess you could say so there's those we got those ready and we got we got this piece right here just come back a little further out so we got this piece it's gonna go like that and then we've got this long piece that's gonna hold all these on there and I'll give you the measurements of these. Uh, all I did is get some vegetable tan leather. I think it's uh, six ounce leather. But right now it's kind of it's dry right now because uh, I've stained it or dyed it, and it's been sitting there for a couple of days. So I'm gonna wet it down so that I can actually form this a little bit better. And then uh, I'm using. I love using Chicago screws. So I have this little set. It's got tons of different sizes of Chicago screws. I'm gonna use some longer Chicago screws to fasten it on to this. But I'm using some smaller ones for the for like the middle. Because they are, I'll show you what color they are. They're dark. So I mean they'll be perfectly fine. So let's do it I'm gonna wet this down I've got my old t-shirt rag right here move this back down so you can see my ugly face and what I'm doing it's a mess in here right now I've got got a chewy I've been doing fiberglass I got a chewy underskull curing right now I've got freaking chrysanthemum stuff everywhere I've got my Chewbacca costume hanging on my naked mannequin it's just there's stuff everywhere in here right now so I'm gonna wet this down with my trusty t-shirt rag and get it all wet here Whoa. I got it really really wet there we go
I'll put the measurements for these in the description below. That way you can just, I mean, it's just a rectangle. You just cut it out, dye it, and you're good to go. I love this leather though. It's like real thick and just nice. Got it on Amazon. I'll put that in the description as well. <clears throat> That's what I used for, uh, I didn't use the thick, I used the thinner stuff for my Death Trooper pouch. And man, that stuff's awesome. I love this leather. It's not very expensive either. I'm trying to get this really wet so that I can manipulate it a little bit better. I might soak this one actually in a in a little jar or something. Let's get one. One that doesn't have fiberglass resin in it. Yeah, so I'm going to put it inside here in the very bottom, put some water in it, let it soak that up a little bit so I can bend it. <coughs> this one's not bad actually. It's going to work just fine. Cool. All right, so after this soaks a little bit, we'll come back and uh, we'll start punching holes. All right, we're back and I am on the ground now because my workstation is full of crap. So I got this soaked. It's nice and loose. Uh, there's really no, I didn't use any measurements or anything as far as whenever I put the boxes on here and then uh, punch the holes. So what I'm going to do is the same way. Let me get my auger real quick. Oh, that's awesome. Jeez. I spilled that water that I just soaked it in. This is what happens when you have a messy shop. You get crap all over the place. Okay. So what we're gonna do is put these boxes, we're gonna lay these boxes on here. Oh, let me get you down a little bit. Let's do it right here. So I gotta figure, I can't remember how I did. I think I did the big box. laid them on there kind of evenly spaced and then I made my first my first hole it's going to be right there So I'm, all I'm doing is poking this through here so that I have a mark to go by. And then I'm gonna use my punch. I move these out of the way. Punch. Function. Cool. I went right in that knot. <laughs> I'm using a big old thick chunk of mesquite right here. Look at that thing. Right through the knot. Alright. And now let me punch this. Okay, 
So I'm gonna put that, uh, I'll put one of these Chicago screws through this just to hold it in place. For now. And I love Chicago screws. They're so awesome. I use them for all kinds of stuff. On my Chewy uh, masks, uh, there's a. I got these. I have these hinges that I use for the, for the jaw articulation, and I punch because it doesn't have a, like it doesn't lat, latch on the the little hinge part. So what I do is I punch those out and I use Chicago screws with the thread locker for the hinges. Just in case, if you ever want to, I don't know, if you ever want to adjust it or anything, you can always take those out. And, and if it, for some reason they all ever come out, you can replace it with just a Chicago screw. Okay, so right now I'm just I'm trying to get this lined up and kind of bending it around the boxes. I'm like I said, I'm not measuring or anything. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. It doesn't have to be perfect. If you want to do it perfect, you can. But, I mean, nobody is going to know. Okay, there's that one. Do one at a time. I'm sure there's an easier way to do this. You know, as far as just you can measure it out and then get your, I might actually do that, <clears throat> get your hole exactly where you need it. But then you got to do the, and because these are bigger than the other ones, this work, this will work just fine. Mm -hmm. What did I do with that dang thing? It did roll away from me. Got some wood stuck in there.
this little hole first. bigger size anyways on that. Okay, so see we got we got one for the bigger box. Now we just keep going on to the next. Let's see how this is looking here. on there now. Uh, 
launched in there pretty good. Trying to do things left-handed all the time and can't do anything left-handed. Not sure why I keep trying. adjust these so that they look a little more straight they shouldn't be perfect anyways because hey you're it's supposed to be something that's been worn and you don't want it to look perfect my favorite part of doing costumes is getting them dirty and filthy looking because it looks more real that way so now we just need to oh, he's good you up here we're going to take these top and bottom uh, Chicago screws loose and you drill a hole that matches the size of your Chicago screw, just a small little hole, which I've already done on this. And I also will, <laughs> will warn you, when you drill your hole and you have the hair on here, move the hair and be sure your fingers aren't around it because when that it catches some of that hair, it will pull your freaking finger and hurt you. So just be careful when you're doing that because I don't want anybody to get hurt if they're making something and I'm trying to show you how to do it. Just be careful. I actually had, whenever I was drilling the hole, my finger got caught in there and it kind of pulled it a little bit. But I've used tools enough to where I know when to stop whenever I'm doing something like that. But just be careful, please. Don't hurt yourself. Okay, we're gonna take these longer, we're actually gonna put some longer Chicago screws on the ends. And take those loose. So there's that one and this one. Let me scoot you back a little bit. And we'll start with the, we'll start with the, this will be the top. So all I'm doing is taking that Chicago screw out. the longer one in and then I'm going to go through this hole that I have here sorry if you can't see this it's uh, not the easiest thing to 
to be myself. Okay, got it started. Let me get my screwdriver. Ugh. That is a. Yeah. All right, so we got one on the top there done. Now we need to find this bottom hole. There it is. Kind of get your hair situated. Where's that sucker at? All right, there it is. And then we gotta take this out. Honestly, this is like the freaking screwdriver ran away from me. This is like the hardest part is getting it on there. I mean, the rest of it is pretty simple. Just gluing hair on. On a mannequin. And cutting leather. Driver. Am I on it? No. Not. Threads. Sorry, it's a pain to get this on. Sucker is hard to get in there. I honestly really need a longer, that's the longest uh, Chicago screw I have. I don't know how long that is, but looks like it's about half an inch almost, or no, it's not half an inch. Get that sucker on there. Bear with me as I mess with this thing. There it is, it's right in the hole. Nice. Just 
Sweet. Straighten your boxes back up. Fix your hair on the bottom. set it up here. You can see it. I'll even put Chewy on top of there. Tilt his head. And... Let me scoot it back a little further. Got that light right behind him. There we go. <laughs> and you know what I do too? If I put it on here sometimes, I'll put something in the. Like, I have this. You can use anything really. You can use a piece of cloth or whatever. Put something on his top lip there to give him kind of a little bit of a you now he's got a little grin on his face. A little growl. So there we go. Chewy Chewy bust. <laughs> I'm trying to get it so to where you can see it without that stupid light back there. Let me turn that off. see them. And he just fix his hair. I like to have some of the hair coming over the coming over the sides. Got his hair in the middle here. Mess it up a little bit. There he is. It's your own Chewbacca bust. You don't want to do Chewbacca, you can do anything really. You can do black chrysanthemum. Uh, really anything. Kind of just whatever you want to do. Alright guys and girls. There's there's a bust. Man, this light right here is blinding me. <laughs> there's a Chewbacca bust and I hope you all have enjoyed this if you need any more help like if you can't figure out something how to do something just holler at me I usually get back pretty quick with the messages or I try to at least but yeah there's a uh, Chewy <laughs> all right Y'all have a good one, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye-bye.